Alright, I'm with Ted with Sling Media. It's got the new Sling, what do you call this one? The Sling Pro HD. Sling Box Pro HD. Which is a little bit different than your other HD box. Tell us the fundamental difference here. Okay, so with the Sling Box Pro HD, it's our first Sling Box that actually can take an HD television signal in and it encodes it and transports it at, at native HD resolutions. Whereas the Slingbox Pro and the Slingbox Solo have both supported HD and widescreen signals, but we've had to scale them down to standard definition resolutions for streaming. So this kind of gets away from that need to down res the video. It actually does full HD streaming. Well, and what would I get if I wanted to have a really high quality picture? How much upstream bandwidth would I need for that? So we can stream HD at, at reasonable qualities all the way down to one, one and a half megabits um, out of the home. Now that typically would only be available to consumers in the U.S. on something like a Fios or a fiber to the home yep. um, type of connection. Mm -hmm. um, beyond that, there's some people that also use the product professionally who will be able to give us much higher bandwidth. So we can stream HD outside the home and our Slingstream technology will kind of adapt itself to the capabilities of your network and then when necessary we'll scale the video down to give you the best overall video quality. There's some fundamental changes in this box as opposed to the other boxes from a codec standpoint. Can you touch on those? That's right. So what we've done with this is we've moved on to a next generation of DSP that's allowing us to not only do the high definition compression but also we can now use um, H.264 video and it's at a high profile with KVAC so we can provide very high quality video streaming and you know and even higher quality at a given bit rate so where the old product might have maybe 600 700k outs out of the home we can now do much better video quality at the existing bit rates that you have available to you We've also added um, additional audio capabilities to this product that have never been available in our in our uh, pre previous sling boxes, and that includes support for um, Dolby Digital Audio 5.1 surround sound. So if you have at your sling player on a PC or Mac, etc., if you have Dolby Digital playback capabilities, we'll preserve that all the way across the stream. And we're now encoding at AAC instead of Windows Media Audio, so we can also provide somewhat better audio qualities at a given bit rate. Well, let's take a look at the back of this unit, and it's actually a really sleek box if you look at it. It's not, uh, I know the original sling box was a little bit awkward looking, and then they've been progressively getting better looking, but this actually looks like it would be, it would fit really nice into a home entertainment system. But talk to me about, we've got component HD input it looks like over here, and we've got digital audio right over there, but no HDMI. Why is that? That's right. So if you're feeding in an HD signal, you'll need to use the component video connections and then either stereo or, or the digital audio connector. And the reason we didn't offer HDMI is that we there are copyright issues associated with the HDMI output from the high definition set-top boxes. So the only way we can actually grab the signal and re-encode it is to use the analog outputs of the set-top boxes. Now I noticed that this also has uh, YC and composite inputs uh, on the other side, if I don't have an HD setup and I just want to use this for standard definition, am I going to see an advantage of getting this box over one of the other Slingbox models in video quality? This will definitely give you improved video quality. So with the Slingstream 2.0, this improved audio and video compression, it will give you better, better signal quality. We also will support multiple sources being connected. And we have a built-in ATSC tuner that can receive digital over-the-air broadcast as well as in the clear digital cable or QAM signals. It's awesome. How much and when can you get it? So we've announced availability in the third quarter of this year at $399. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.